The long-awaited day had finally arrived. It was time to harvest the honey off of the hives. I figured I'd start with our rock star hive, and you know what? They didn't disappoint. So let's see what we got. It's a beast to get rid of. But this is what we want to see. Nice solid comb of honey. Beautiful frame. Sorry bees. I actually couldn't believe my eyes. I mean it was out of like out of a textbook somewhere. Beautiful combs of honey that just, you know, were solid in the super. Beautiful. 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 Every now and then you get a colony that, well, you just wish all the rest of the colonies were that way. Even the end frames are total. This queen with this genetic trait, uh, I want to reproduce her, and that's very possible by taking eggs and raising them in a nuke. But, oh man, it's just textbook. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Give him somewhere to go. When you take the honey supers off, uh, you're cramming all the bees into the lower brood box. And uh, the last thing I wanted to do is have an overcrowding situation that might inspire them to um, swarm and take off with that wonderful queen. So I give them a little space uh, in the middle there so that um, they, they hopefully don't get that instinct going. The second super was pretty much a carbon copy of the first super. Oh man, in all the years that I've been keeping bees and you know there was 25 years of beekeeping i never saw frames that were just so consistently packed with honey it really was a wonderful sight i'm thinking i'd have a undrawn comb in here or uncapped comb and oh boy i don't know but i haven't run into any yet That's two full supers. I pulled about four and a half supers full of honey from these hives, which means that this one hive was responsible for almost half of the honey harvest. And that's the way it goes if you get a really good colony. Eh. Let's leave that guy in there. See if there's any more drones showing up, or rather brood showing up up here. Now they've chased her down. And a little. I'm gonna leave this guy on. So between the time that we harvest the honey off of the hives and we run it through the extractor, we tarp it off with a dehumidifier. You want to get the moisture level as low as possible, and it's gonna be a few days between the two. Uh, a lot of times they say three days, uh, keeping it dehumidified is good. This is going to be closer to a week, so we have some ant prevention that I'm going to get into in a few moments. But uh, you want to just get it as dry as possible before putting it through the extractor. Uh, there's a device called a refractometer, which I'll show you. And that device uh, allows you to measure the water content. And what you're shooting for is you're shooting for less than 18% water content. Above that, you're on the chance of the honey fermenting. Below that, it'll be good a thousand years from now. So this is a honey refractometer. Uh, they're available from a lot of different places. And basically what happens is uh, you smear a drip of honey in here, squish it flat, and then you'll look through here and you'll be able to see approximately, uh, well, actually pretty precisely if it's done right, what the water content of the honey is, and you want to keep that under 18%. Uh, I got this one from Amazon. There's a lot of different sources for them. Um, I'm not going to supply a link because it'd be five miles long, but just uh, Google honey refractometer and you should be able to find one.
So I mentioned about ants. Uh, if you're storing honey, there's always a possibility that the ants will find it. I made up a stand, and, and the feet of the stand are sitting in bottle caps that are full of uh, vegetable oil. And the idea being is the ants cannot cross the vegetable oil to get onto the feet to go up into the stand and rob the supers, I hope. So one of the things we don't want to do is leave any of our hives overcrowded. Uh, when you pull supers off, you're packing all the bees down to a smaller location. So we're going to take a quick look into the hives just to see what the crowding is. We knew that that first hive way over there was going to be packed out. That's why I put that super on with three frames. We know that they could do crazy stuff in there, but they're just not going to have the opportunity because, well, next week, you know, the, the honey supers, the empty honey supers will be returned to the hives. But we just want to check the other hives and see what they're doing. This is the one we uh, put an empty super on with three frames yesterday. And as you can see in there, they needed that space. Even though there's not really anything too much they're going to be doing in there. I don't know if that'll focus down in there or not. Probably not. But trust me, there's a ton of bees in there. These guys still have one honey super, which they're pretty packed out in. But I think they'll be okay. So they still have one medium on there. These guys were reduced to just one. So I'm going to take a peek, or rather just their deep box. So I'm going to take a peek inside this one. These guys are really packed out. I may come back and throw us, uh, you know, a super with three frames in it or something deep super just to give them a little room this one we didn't really disturb yesterday it had been a weaker colony but it's a very full colony so after the extraction we're going to throw one of the mediums on them this guy's a stronger colony has one medium on them pretty packed out with bees Last but not least, our swarmy hive. <laughs> They're all pretty packed out with bees. So what I've done is I've added a box to that one that has a few frames in it. I've also put uh, shims and entrance reduce, or rather top entrances in the other hives, just to give them some physical room at the top of the hive. Um, They'll probably start building some burr comb up there, but it's only going to be that way for a week. So I'm not too worried about it. At that point, everybody gets their supers back. And lastly, we don't want to ignore our little milk hive, which has been doing pretty good. So it's time to peek inside and see, well, what was happening. Oh my. Our little hive is growing. So when I pull those temporary supers back in the yard, they'll probably have a little drawn comb on them. And my intent is to pass that drawn comb on to these guys. But first let's uh, make a quick check that our, our queen is still functioning. <laughs> Yep. One. I can't see if. Yeah, I am seeing eggs. And so far, what is capped looks like worker brood to me. And I am seeing eggs and small larvae in there. So, our little mighty queen is doing her thing. Look at that starting to fill out this one too good good we're gonna promote this guy to full-fledged hive status we're good <laughs> Thank you.